about the Israeli election. Some people now believe that it was about the U.S. election. We're hours away from the inauguration of Barack Obama. Do you think the Israelis were frightened about future policies of the Obama administration, and that's why they want to withdraw all forces by the time President-elect Obama speaks to uh, become President of the United States of America? I don't think so like this, but I think, I do believe uh, the uh, uh, Livni and Barack, they want to provide some victory to their people. They, they want, uh, because they, they accomplished uh, nothing last two years, they want to uh, give their, the, the people in Israel very wide picture for them uh, after they uh, defeat Hamas. And now the picture is uh, in, in the other side. It's, uh, this is a very wrong message now. And Netanyahu declare very, very clear they are failing to de defeat Hamas. Israel can do nothing, some say, without the United States agreeing to it. Barack Obama, we hear, wants to speak with Hamas. Will Hamas speak with Barack Obama? And uh, do you think there will be a policy shift? Already there are, as I understand it, conversations going on at some levels between Hamas and the U.S. government? Uh, we welcome any uh, dialogue between us and the United States. Uh, we know United States, uh, it's their policy against us, and they're trying to avoid Hamas from anything. Uh, but, uh, uh, but we know also uh, uh, United States is so barbaric, uh, United States, not Israel. Uh, it's a support Israel, and we differentiate between how to deal with Israel and how to deal with the United States. We welcome any dialogue with the United States. We hope uh, Barack Obama change the American policy in the Middle East. Uh, we know there is some changes in Iraq, in Afghanistan, in United States, inside the United States uh, itself, but I am not uh, sure about how to deal in the Middle East agenda. Now, now he assigned uh, uh, Richard, uh, 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 I guess, as the, the delegation from uh, United States government to the Middle East. I don't know if he gonna uh, point some uh, ideas to, to, to make some justice some uh, people to the Palestinian or to be fair uh, with the Palestinian until now. Uh, until now, we, we didn't see any uh, good point uh, coming from the United States. Some people say Hamas is in the strongest position it's ever been, even stronger than your electoral victory in 2006. Uh, do you think, when do you think you and Khaled Mashal will be able to go to Gaza? <laughs> Uh, this is, uh, uh, I hope to be in Gaza uh, any time. Uh, all of my family in Gaza anyway. Uh, I born in Rafah refugee camp. My mother and sisters and brothers, all of them in Gaza Strip. Uh, all of my family in Gaza Strip. And uh, you see, uh, I feeling from Syria what's happening there to them and to the, our people. Uh, but you know, uh, there is many difficulties now to talk about go to Gaza, and but uh, if there is uh, any possible way to go to Gaza, I will do it uh, direct away, uh, and Khalid uh, Mishal as well. And just finally, there's talk of bringing Israel to international war crimes courts, very tricky legally, of course. Were you uh, happy with Ban Ki Moon? What he said about uh, the United Nations Relief and Works uh, Organization in Gaza, of course, we had strong statements from the United Nations people in Gaza about the use of phosphorus bombs. What's uh, Hamas and what's, um, I don't know, have you talked with the Syrian government about trying to bring something legal against the Israelis? Uh, there is many, uh, uh, m m many countries, uh, they're trying to, to, ma to make that... Uh, 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 the, uh, to do something with that issue. There is uh, many uh, uh, organization uh, start to, uh, to prepare for uh, also uh, this project to, 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 to raise uh, 
the war crime against Israel in Europe. And uh, I guess uh, anyone, uh, if he went to, or he, if he go to Gaza Strip, he gonna see uh, uh, many things to, to uh, and the, the, his feeling will, uh, uh, will harm a lot. And uh, Ben Kimon, when he see, uh, when he see uh, th this time, uh, the schools and the hospitals and the mosque and universities and uh, all of, uh, of building, uh, which is uh, hitting by uh, Israeli rocket and uh, how many casual, casualties uh, there, the, he, he gonna say, uh, if he wanna the, see the truth, uh, you will see a lot of things. Uh, uh, in, and in just, the, the, just one final picture. question, actually, Musa Abu Mazuk, we're hours away from that inauguration. What, we know the close relationship between George W. Bush and the Israeli government, the close relationship between Bill Clinton and the Israeli government. What is your message to President-elect Obama? What should he do in the first 100 days if he wants, if he truly wants peace in the Middle East? He raised uh, uh, change for his campaign. And the change should be not only in the United States. The change should be in the Middle East. George Bush, he accomplished nothing in the Middle East conflict. He failed within eight years to accomplish any objective, which is he put it for the, uh, for, for the people uh, in, in, in the Middle East. Uh, and I want uh, the new administration to change the policy to be uh, not uh, looking to, to the, the, this conflict in one, in one eye, uh, Israeli eye, they should look uh, to our people, they should look to, to our hope, our future, our children, which is uh, right now in the day before he in charge uh, in the United States as a president, uh, he, he saw how much blood in the Gaza st Street, how much uh, children uh, uh, get killed in, in Gaza Street, and he should change the last policy uh, without any success. Musa Abu Marzouk, deputy leader of Hamas in exile, live from Damascus. Thank you very much for joining us.